Welcome back to the first episode of 2020. Today I would like to discuss band name etymologies, that means where band names are derived from. I have researched this topic for a longer time now, and I've stumbled upon very intriguing background stories. The band name is basically the signboard of a music project, similar to a commercial brand name which intends to evoke the consumer's interest. Therefore the right choice of name plays a not unimportant role for the success of a band. Let us now have a closer look at some of these stories to see how bands came to their names. Many bands drew their inspiration from literature. Amongst these were The Doors, named after the book The Doors of Perception by Aldous Huxley, the title of which is taken from a poem by William Blake. The 60s rock band Steppenwolf was named after the famous novel by German author Hermann Hesse, whose work had been rediscovered by the hippie generation. Those of you who are familiar with the works of Charles Dickens know certainly that the band Uriah Heep was named after one of the main villains in the novel David Copperfield. After half of the band had left the Yardbirds, Jimmy Page wanted to reform the band under the moniker The New Yardbirds. When he invited the Who's drummer Keith Moon to play with them, Keith humorously predicted that this idea will go down like a zeppelin of lead. Jimmy Page liked that phrase and decided to use it as band name. To avoid any confusion with the word lead, the band dropped the A from the word lead. Anthony Burgess's violent dystopia, A Clockwork Orange, caused quite a stir when it was first published in 1962. It became a very influential work, not least because of the Kubrick film adaption from 1971, which by the way features a brilliant synth soundtrack by Wendy Carlos, who also created the soundtrack for The Shining and for Tron. Several bands had taken their name from this novel, among these the synth grants Heaven 17, a band by that name is mentioned in the novel, and Moloko, which means milk in Russian and is used in the novel to describe a milk drink fixed with drugs. When John Cale was shown Michael Lay's study on the secret sexual subculture of the early 60s with the title The Velvet Underground, the name as well as the topic appealed to the freshly formed quartet, who then decided to make it their moniker. Another fabulous moniker is Tears for Fears. It is derived from a line in the book Prisoners of Pain by the psychologist Arthur Janoff, whose work influenced a lot of the band's early material. The biggest and most influential synthpop band, Depeche Mode, named themselves after a French fashion magazine called Depeche Mode, which means literally Fashion Dispatch. When Sheffield synth pioneers The Human League first formed, they called themselves simply The Future. But after the singer Phil Oakey joined them, they decided to change the name. The Human League is a name derived from a futuristic society from the 1970s board game Star Force Alpha Centauri. Another source of inspiration for band names are of course musicians and songs that the bands admire. That is the case with Ladytron, who took the name from a Roxy Music song, and Simple Minds, who took a line from David Bowie's The Gene Genie. Before Joy Division took on their awesome band name, they called themselves Warsaw, after the David Bowie song Warszawa. The name Joy Division itself was borrowed from the prostitution wing of a Nazi concentration camp mentioned in the 1955 novel The House of Dolls. The band agreed that should any one member leave, they will not continue under the Joy Division name. So after the suicide of singer Ian Curtis, they had to look for another name. They came up with the name New Order, which is, like Joy Division, connected with Nazi Germany. But, according to them, it was found in an article in The Guardian, entitled The People's New Order of Kampuchea. The synth pop duo from Leeds, Soft Cell, named themselves after a Frank Zappa song. The song in question is called Soft Cell Conclusion and is considered a parody on the young Bob Dylan. I guess that many contemporary dark alternative bands call themselves something with soft because of soft cell, but I could be wrong, like a soft riot, the soft moon, and speaking of which also moon is quite common, or can it be from Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon, or maybe it's from Soft Machine's Moon in June because exactly here we have the combination of soft and moon again. If you have any information on this topic, please let me know. As always, thank you very much for watching. See you next time.